What's going on, everybody? Thank you very much for everybody uh, reaching out to me uh, through the course of the night, this morning, afternoon, and even into the evening. Uh, checking on, you know, status of me, my family out here. Um, you know, uh, I still got a ton of people to email back and hit on uh, different social media platforms to send me messages. Uh, I do appreciate it. There were so many people, and I don't think I can emphasize, you know, the word so many onto it that reached out from either being subscribers on YouTube, Instagram, whatever you know me from and stuff like that, just to check on to me and ask me if I needed anything, stuff like that, you know. It's very much appreciated, so thank you. I, I am safe. There was uh, no uh, structural damage that I seen offhand uh, when I did a walk around this morning. As most of you know, it all started late during overtime last night. I had to cut it. Uh, when I did cut it, got everything, you know, what they use the word hunkered down, uh, the alarms went off prematurely. Uh, by the time the tornado went through, Maysfield, uh, it started slowing down the funnel. So debris was dropping everywhere, stuff like that there. Uh, I think we were cleared around like 1.20 in the morning, something like that, maybe around 1.30-ish even too. And then, it, you know, there was more waves that came afterwards. You guys probably seen or heard on the news the tornado went through uh Bowling Green, which is about 45 minutes south of me, there was all kind of damage south of Louisville in a town called Shepherdsville, which is about 30 minutes uh, north of me. So basically, if you look at like how the path went up through all the states, like it was weird because the Ohio Riverside hit the cameras like up in here. The tornadoes actually breached out around us like this here. And like I'm living here. Like, I don't know. I can't really draw it. I should probably put a map up or something. But they were like went either just north of us with a lot of the bad uh winds or the tornadoes were just south of us and stuff like that there uh mostly for my area from what i've seen you know we did get some hell uh throughout the night real weird looking it wasn't a uh, ball shaped it was like a dish shape real thin never seen anything quite like it it, it looked like if you ever go to like a uh gas station and get like a drink you put the ice in it that way like something like that ice there not like real square cues but real thin you know with the uh, width of them and stuff but uh everything's good to go from uh for me and my uh family down here a lot of people are very unfortunate this morning and with the holiday season coming up uh it really hits them you know twice as hard on to that uh, for myself, a lot of the organizations around here that I've uh, belonged to through the years are putting stuff together, which, you know, myself and Extreme Car Breaks will push stuff into for those families, along with uh, a lot of, uh, I don't want to say stray, but uh, pets were found out there. So the uh, animal shelters are very, very uh, over the limit. So. Um, I'm going to get with a couple of the places that are taking in like dog food, cat food, stuff like that there. And, uh, we'll push some stuff that way for them too, as well. Uh, hopefully they can, uh, find the owners of those animals and stuff like that. I mean, I, I sat there this morning, just, uh, listening to videos until most of this stuff pretty much really calmed down. Like one lady was pulled out of her house and stuff. Her mom was thrown underneath a car. It, it was just, you know, you know, one of those real moments that shock you all together because, I mean, I sat there, talked to a few people on the phone this morning, and, you know, a lot of us, we were uh, in the Army together, stuff I don't really talk about much, but, you know, you go to Afghanistan, Iraq, and stuff a few times. When you're out there, there's a thing with fear, but it's like you have, like, a feeling you have more control out there, if that makes sense. No, a couple of you guys last night said you were 11 uh, B, so you guys kind of have an idea, probably what I'm saying. Or if you were in the military at all, you have a kind of, and were deployed, you have an understanding. Time frame, you know, 
luck are you going to get hit with it is it going to miss you you know what's going to happen on to the end of it so very uh stressful night like i said through the morning i finally sometime late morning finally uh, got some rest through the afternoon and stuff um i do have a four minute clip that was sent to me it's like a drone footage so if you guys are in some of the areas that didn't get to see you know what happened i'll put that video here it's like four minutes long in case you guys want to uh, take a look and see like what the uh what ha what it looks like after the tornado went through i hate using the word aftermath uh, a lot but that's probably the best way that i could really describe it out there onto it but again thank you very much um for checking on me the emails asking if i need anything messages across the board i will get back with uh, i think there's about 20 or so left on here uh, with everybody. Uh, I do appreciate it. I don't think I've ever had so many people, you know, check on me for one instance ever. It's like, you know, you have that awe. It's an amazing, good feeling that like people actually have concern and stuff out there for you. All right, everybody. Well, that's it for me. Um, there, like I said, there's no show today. I didn't go to it just because I didn't want to have the risk assessment driving with very little sleep going up there. Uh, probably hit one next weekend in Lexington, possibly. So that should be the last one of the year. But other than that, everybody, I will catch you all next video. Again, thank you. And I'll talk to you all later.